Hi there, Libra, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of March the 13th through to the 19th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Libra. First up, we have Major Arcana Justice in the upright, followed then by the Nine of Wands upright. Next, we have the Five of Pentacles reversed, followed then by the King of Cups in the upright. And lastly, we have the Ten of Pentacles upright. Your overall energy, Libra, is the Libra card. Justice in the upright position. Well, this week, you could be seeing some poetic justice playing out. For others of you, this could represent justice in the actual legal matter. Maybe there is a... A situation, a litigation that you have going on in the court system right now, and there could be some news about that, and perhaps um, uh, maybe judgments being ruled in your favor, that type of thing. For others of you, this could be indicating uh, justice in your own uh, household, it could be justice in your family, justice at work, where perhaps things had fallen off the rails and, and justice was ensuing everywhere. And now this week you see that, you know, everything comes back and becomes fair and equal and balanced once again. Right at the beginning of the week, we have the Nine of Wands in the upright position. This is the Wounded Warrior energy. The Nine of Wands is where we have fought many a battle on the same front. Now, for some of you, this could be a challenge that you keep coming up against. It's, I keep beating my head against that same wall over and over again. Now, this could be the same kind of argument that you keep having with your spouse, or it could be um, some type of situation that goes on at work, and every time I turn around, I keep fighting the same battle. This is about being ready and prepared to fight another day if you should have to. But remember, this energy energy does not say that you have to fight another day. It's just about being prepared. So in case um, this problem, it could be that you have an indication or you come into the week going, oh no, here I go again. I know I'm going to be coming up against that same coworker or my boss about that same problem over and over again, or one of my kids or my spouse, <laughs> or it could even be for some of you, this is like a pesky problem. It could be a financial problem that keeps you know, reoccurring. It could be a health problem. It could be any kind of problem, but it's one that you fight a lot on that same subject. So this is just you being ready to fight another day if you should have to. Next card up is the Five of Pentacles in the reverse position. Now, this is good news for those of you who have been dealing with a financial situation that you felt might be heading into some type of crisis. Five of Pentacles in the upright position can point to where we're not sure. Like, say we went and put a down payment on something. We're not sure we're going to be able to meet the financial means to be able to pay it off or to do make the next payment until something happens or something goes through. That kind of thing. Or it could be that we've we're planning on taking a vacation or something and we're just not sure if we have enough put aside for said vacation or whatever the situation is or it could even just be simply getting through the month maybe finance finance has been kind of tough for some of you and you're just worried the bills are so high am i going to be able to make it through well the card being in the reverse can indicate that yes you will be able to deal with the financial situation it won't hit the crunch maybe for some of you it's because justice is being done in this scenario others of you it could be about somebody who perhaps has left the scene sometimes the five of pentacles in the upright position can point to being abandoned as could be a, be abandoned by family members friends uh, relationship partner what have you but when the card is reversed this can indicate there is a return of that person now remember energies can go both ways so perhaps it's somebody that you yourself have abandoned and you're ready to you know bring them back into the fold again now, moving on towards the weekend, we have the King of Cups in the upright position. It is a quirk card, could be representing a person. It's representing a person. This is water, energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Now, the, page, or sorry, the King of Cups in the upright position is someone who's run the gauntlet on emotions, knows how to process them, knows how to deal with them in a mature, timely fashion. Now... For some of you, this could be someone you are talking to. This could be representative of your spouse or 
uh, a family member or a friend, or it could even be a doctor or a counselor, somebody you're dealing or talking to about matters of the heart. It could be emotional, romantic for some of you. For others of you, this could be about just dealing with some kind of emotional situation, perhaps that, you know, like some that's rooted deep down in the past. And perhaps you just need somebody objective to talk to about and that, that could help you to sort through your emotions. Now, remember, energies go both ways again. So you could be embodying the energies of the King of Cups and perhaps you're going to be the emotional voice of reason. But this could be somebody you are talking to who's helping you process your own emotions. And the last card you have is the Ten of Pentacles in the upright position. See, I told you, your financial woes will be short-lived. Ten of Pentacles in the upright position is the utmost um, feeling of security and stability. Sometimes this will pop up when we get, it's right at the end of the week, so perfect for those of you who have weekend plans. Usually Libras are quite sociable, they usually do have weekend plans, so... This could be some extra cash coming your way. Now, this could be via an inheritance. Sometimes it can be via um, maybe a bonus at work, or it could even be perhaps a, like a tax refund that you didn't expect to be so high. It could be that you've landed a job that, you know, pays better than you expected, or you could be you're getting a bonus or a signing bonus to go work somewhere. Whatever the situation is, could be a very nice, pleasant surprise. Could even be for some of you, maybe your spouse or one of your grown children has landed a job and is able to contribute to the family household. So it's nice, nice for stability. It's nice for uh, financial kudos to come like unexpectedly. It's also, you know, will it's it's something that will also benefit not just you but also the family. So very interesting reading. I can't wait to hear from some of you in the comment section below, and let me know how did last week's you guys got the best reading ever last week. How did that go? How did that turn out? And um, let us know about this week's as well. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic week, and I hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again next week. Bye bye for now.